So hello anyone kind enough to click on this video. This video is my review of the adventures, latest and greatest, greatest, well, maybe not greatest, I'm not too sure, Adventures of Tintin. So, if you're wondering how I got to see this movie insanely early, it's basically because my auntie is awesome, and she had bought tickets to a fundraiser screening of the movie that was a whole month and two days early, and she asked if I wanted to go. But The Adventures of Tintin is the highly anticipated movie adaptation of three of Hergé's Tintin stories. This time, it's directed by Steven Spielberg and produced by Peter Jackson, and done in computer-generated animation. The story for this one follows the young journalist Tintin, who buys a model ship at a fair, but one person called Red Rackman wants the ship because there are three models of this one particular ship called the Unicorn, and they all have these clues inside them. And Red Rackman wants all three of these ships so he can gather all three clues and find where some sort of lost treasure is. The first thing that I will say about this movie is that it is not like what you would expect from the trailers. It is a lot different from what you would expect. And a lot of people like who live in the UK who have already seen the movie have said that it is disappointing and too much of a kids movie. I wouldn't go quite as far as saying that because I would say it's more of a family film than a kids film. And although it is not quite what I expected, it isn't really that disappointing. Basically, to sum this movie up, the first half is like Indiana Jones meets the first two Harry Potter films. And the last half is this excellent adventure film with generous handfuls of action thrown in, and is probably close enough to what I expected the film to be like. There's this one scene in the movie that has this explosion in it that you have been anticipating for the entire scene, and once this big bang explosion happens, that is basically when the first half that I was talking about finishes, and the next half starts. And also, more or less, when all the slapstick humour stops. And that is one of the things that I was not expecting, the slapstick humour. But that is not really a bad thing, because I would say, why mess around with that when it works so well in this movie? Surprisingly, it works really well. And, I mean, it wasn't just me. The rest of the theatre was laughing. And this shouldn't really come as a surprise, but the animation is gorgeous. In fact, it's even better than I expected it to be. The animation is so crisp, clear, and looks so real that you would question if it is even possible to make animation like this. There is this one scene that is set of this opera performance, and then all the glass breaks because she, the opera singer, hits a note so high. And that scene made my jaw drop. And the animation in that scene topped the rest of the movie. And that makes me so glad to say that I actually know someone who worked on the visuals and an animation for this movie. And as the movie progresses, the story becomes more and more interesting and exciting. Because the character of Haddock reveals things in his past they come as clues, and they become really interesting, and make the end climax just that bit more exciting to watch. And I won't test your patience any longer, but the film is fairly well written, and the film piqued my interest, even from the beginning title sequence, and especially the painting scene straight after. Now, I didn't love this movie to death, so I do think that there are some things that could have been improved. Even though I just said that I thought the first scene was great, like, JUST said the first scene was great, uh, the one after the title sequence, I did think that it jumped straight into the story and was a bit too quick. I feel like it needed just one extra st scene at the beginning to introduce the characters. Instead, I try to introduce the characters as the story progresses. And it did that really well, but I think that it should have played it safe. 
and just slow down a bit at the start of the film. And also, not to mention the few times where it becomes too far-fetched for its own good. I know that the movie isn't supposed to be realistic at all, but at times, things happen that are so out of this world that it becomes way too far-fetched for a Tintin movie. There was also this uh, one short little plotline that I thought was quite unnecessary. Maybe I'd missed something, but I thought that this one little story did not need to be in there. So time for my one sentence review. Steven Spielberg directs a Tintin movie that comes straight from the heart. And even though I don't read the comics, he plays tribute to them and in a way that visually make the impossible possible and make an exciting adventure out of it. I give The Adventures of Tintin, Secret of the Unicorn, 4 out of 5 stars. I was struggling between that and 4.5, and but I have now had two weeks to think about it, and I now have to say 4 out of 5. So that's why I thought of uh, The Adventures of Tintin. Uh, and as I said, the visuals were great. Uh, they were amazing. But, um, it, well, I mean, that's probably led you to ask, what was the 3D like? Now, uh, unfortunately, the screening was in 2D. Um, and this probably led you on to thinking, well, maybe might have led you on to thinking that, okay, he's seen it early, but after it's come out in the UK, and he saw it in 2D. Oh, and also, I don't have a ticket to show, because they weren't doing tickets for that. That's made you now think, might have made you now think that I illegally downloaded it. Uh, now, as I said, uh, there wasn't any ticket, but this is the closest I can uh, show you without... Uh, show you without... Um, yeah showing the ticket because, I mean, this is close I have to the ticket. Yeah, so that's close I have to a ticket, um, but it's a great movie, although, yeah, I saw it in 2D, but uh, my auntie has now got these, like, gold lounge, gold class things, um, uh, things which she needs to use up, and she asked if I wanted to go see it, uh, preferably opening day, I think, yeah, uh, boxing day, not sure she said which day she's going to try and get. And, uh, and see it in 3D. Uh, so that will be good. So I'm going to go see it a second time in 3D. And, uh, and also just a fun, quick little story. Uh, <laughs> the trailer for War Horse played before the movie. And, you know, we were watching, oh, yeah, 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 but this looks good. Well, you know, the audience just seemed to be quiet. I mean, and then the title comes up. War Horse. <laughs> We cannot stop laughing. That was so good. Oh, War Horse, what such a bad title. Uh, but yeah, that was my early, early review for The Adventures of Tintin, Secret of the Unicorn. And until next time, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm Thomas, and that's a review.